ladies and gentlemen, 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 welcome back to the channel. In tonight's video, I was requested, it was requested to do some closed eye instruction ASMR. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing. So we got a new camera angle here, which is quite nice, I guess. And uh, with that being said, let's jump into this. So I need you to put some trust into me and just close those eyes, right? There ain't much to see here, guys. There ain't much to see. Um, so close those eyes and we're going to be, you know, guiding you through a very relaxing uh, process to help you fall asleep. So, you know, if you're not looking to fall asleep, I mean, you know, if you do, so be it. So be it. So, like I said, just close, close, close. And what I'm going to need you to do, ideally, you are laying down, right? But, yeah, let's just say ideally, you're laying down in your bed, on a couch, wherever it is, on the floor, who knows, right? And I just need you to take a deep breath. I need you to just take a deep breath, okay? So, in through the nose and... Bend the arms, bend the arms, bend the arms just a 
your knuckles. I've heard mixed things on this being potentially uh, bad, but I thought that was debunked that that's not. So, you know, do whatever feels good for you, right? If you feel like your knuckles need cracking, we're just trying to get rid of that tension all over the body, right? Just kind of release it. If you're in, you know, any pain backwise, which I can safely say I am actually in right now, like my back hurts probably because I've been sitting, right? So I usually have a standing setup and I switch back to sitting and I kind of enjoyed it for a minute and now it is, I'm paying the price because I can feel the pain in my back. So, you know, if you, you know, are a student or you work a desk job or something like that or you work from home at your desk, sitting is brutal, you know, sitting is not the greatest thing, especially if you can feel it, um, if you can feel the effects of it. So, you know, just making sure that you're laying flat on your back, hopefully you're not in really too weird if you're not laying too weird right just kind of flat on your back and just kind of do any kind of movements right so i'm telling you roll the ankles right roll the wrists just kind of circle them do all this anything to you that feels comfortable you should do right if your back's in pain a lot of the times you don't need an instruction per se you just kind of start, you know, moving around. You just kind of try to adjust, right? So what I want you to do now is any movement that feels like it's somehow releasing tension or making you feel comfortable, feel free to just do that now, right? So if it's, you know, changing the, the way you're laying down, whatever it is, right? If you're, if it's something with your legs, something with your hands, with your arms, with your neck, whatever it is, right? Just start to move whatever you can to make yourself feel as loose as possible, right? Anything in the face as well, if you want to, you know, um, try to release some tension in the face in whatever means that is, feel free to also do that. So we're really just allowing here any type of movement, any type of movement at all, any type of movement at all. And the goal of this, like I said, is to make a much more relaxing sleep because there's not this built up tension that we, we have over time, right? This just happens. Uh, we need things cracked, we need things moved around, right? We need to stretch, which is also extremely important. I think that's probably, you know, I try to stretch when I can. I really should be daily, but not always. But, you know, stretching, um, back rolling. I have a back roller up here with me because of how much sitting is screwing with my back. You know, if you can get a standing desk, that's awesome, but you don't even need to pay you know, the hundreds of dollars for one, I actually just have a book, a little bookshelf and I just put my bookshelf and then I put my monitor on top of it and then I just stand at my desk. So whatever you can do throughout the day to minimize, right, the amount of, uh, you know, pain, whether it's back pain, whatever it is, it's very important that you do that, right? And stretching and standing are two and moving, right? Walking, working out, all good things to keep um, everything uh, fresh, right? Especially, especially stretching, right? Even if you do the workouts, even if you walk, you know, it's very important that you're able to have some flexibility, some mobility, and that's something you're absolutely gonna wanna have throughout your life, right? And I'm still, you know, I can't do a split or anything, but you know, I like to think I am decently flexible, kinda. So just make sure that you are feeling as relaxed as possible while you're laying down, right? That all that tension, that all that tension, that all that tension is just releasing, right? And if you're done with the movements or even if you're not, I just want you to imagine, I want you to imagine that that tension is just kind of an 
energy, right? It is this kind of energy that you can see. Your eyes are closed, right? Your eyes are closed, your eyes are closed, but you can see with your eyes closed, you're visualizing your body, and this energy of stress is just kind of flowing out of you, right? You can't really stop it. There's nothing you can do. It's just all that stress, all the tension that's been building. It's just kind of flowing out. You can just see, you can literally see as you visualize the stress leaving all the parts of your body from your ankles, from your toes, from your feet, from your shins, your calves, your thighs, your hamstrings, glutes, stomach, chest, back, neck, nose, everything, eyes, mouth, ears, hair. You can literally see the tension, the stress leaving. You're watching it leave, you're watching it leave, you're watching it leave, and you are letting it go. You're letting that tension go. You're letting that stress and tension just leave. It is, it is leaving, it is leaving, it is leaving, it is leaving, it is leaving. And I want you to take another few deep breaths here, right, with those eyes, of course, still closed. Those eyes are still, of course, closed. So let's take another deep breath. And when we do that, we want to be doing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And you want to be doing that through thinly burst lips. Thinly burst lips. Thinly burst lips, right? So kind of like you're breathing through a small straw, right? So breathing in through the nose and then bursting those lips and blowing that air out slowly, right? And we're slowing down that heart rate still. We're just slowing down that heart rate so it can make it a lot easier for you to fall asleep, 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 asleep. more deep breath. 
of just like you close your eyes, you close your eyes, you close your eyes, and then I instruct you. So it technically, uh, this is a closed eye instruction technically, but I know there's other ways people do it, other things they task you with, but I kind of wanted this to be a full body relaxation type thing for sleep. So hopefully you found that helpful and let me know if you like this, you know, the camera angle. Let me know if you like this video. Uh, drop a comment, but ideally you're asleep. But if not, why not just drop a comment? Why not subscribe? Maybe even if you are asleep, you could sleep subscribe and sleep comment, which would be absolutely dope if you could do that, if you could do that, if you could do that. But I want to thank you for joining me. As always, I want to thank you for all the support, any support you give to this channel, even if it's just viewing. That's a lot. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And with that being said, I will catch you, catch you, catch you, catch you.